Awesome, yeah, we can see the game now. So, Yay! Uh, yeah. So this is a Bugs Life. It's based on the Pixar uh, t movie, uh, Bugs Life. Um, I'll explain the game as we go along. Um, when everyone's ready, I can go. I assume I press the button. Still? Oh. Yes, cool. All right, in three, two, one, go. So... So the first level was Anthill. It's quite a basic level. We just need to make it end. There's no collecting anything. We just make it straight to the end. Um, but like I said, I was playing in the PC version. It's very similar to the PS1 version. You've ever seen that, except from there's a one trick we can't do, which changes the route slightly, uh, which I'll explain later. And um, let's go over this fence quickly. Um, Okay, and the loads are super fast, which makes it the fastest version. Um, there's three types of levels. The one I just did there where we just book it to the end of the level. Um, same with this one. There's not really any collectibles. Uh, we have boss type levels, which is the next level coming up. And then we also have collectible levels where we collect things in the um, actual screen. Um, the main movement in this game is just jumping, butt stomping. Um, it's very important. So if we butt stomp late and stuff like that, we can extend our jump. Um, it also helps with like light. not hitting collision because like it. it's very easy for Flick to stop moving um, or get hit by someone can just suddenly stop. Um, but yeah, so that's the main sort of movement mechanic. And um, we also have berry power here. Uh, we don't need more berry power, Flick. Um, if we were doing 100%, we need to do a bunch of other stuff like collecting these grains, going through these doors, collecting super berries and that sort of thing. Um, but we don't need to do any of that. Um, so first trick coming up here, it looks simple, but it can be a little bit difficult. Is jump on that mushroom and jump over. It's a lot harder than it looks, I swear. Um, but we got through that, that's good. Um, this game is very, very, very RNG um, in, as a top level run. So you can see those rocks falling from the ceiling. Um, they can just land in your face. There's nothing you can do about that. But we try and keep to the edge of this level just to avoid everything. You just keep to the very edge. We also do that just to cut corners um, and it saves a bit of time. Uh, but just that, that level's done. Um, and we're going into the boss fight. So here we want to... Uh, council chamber. So to hit, do damage to Thumper, we need yeah. to um, grab the super barrier buff. So we grab this up here, super and now we can do damage. Um, once again, this is a very RNG boss. Uh, it, they, it will fly up into the sky and then come back down. And um, we got perfect. We got really good luck, so we can hit him straight away. But sometimes you can just fly around for a bit and just stay up there for ages. Um, you also notice that I just um, quit the level. Um, when we do the final hit to the boss or collect certain things on the level. The game triggers it as saying that we've done that in the game and the level's complete, so we can just quit out the game really quickly. Um, this comes into a really good when we want to kind of skip dialogue and that sort of thing that we don't need to watch the whole cutscenes. Um, yeah, so this is the next level. Um, I'm sure a lot, if anyone played Bugs Life as a kid, this is probably a lot of the level where a lot of people got stuck on and didn't know what to do. Um, but we're just trying to fly across the River Bay Canyon. Um, I'm a little bit low here. Um, and if we land on the floor, we get eaten by a bird. Um, but we're over the vines now, so we can just continue on going on and make it onto the cliffside. Uh, which we do here. Um, yeah, this level, this game comes. Oh, yeah. This is very quick. It's kind of hard oh, to explain yeah. everything going on. Um, Robo Canyon. So Robo Canyon is a very, very hard yeah. level. Um, I'm going to try this really hard strat um, where we need to death abuse to do a warp. Um, so I'm just going to take damage here. Uh, ideally, we take damage without losing time, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, so I'm free damage here. I need two more hits. Yeah. I'll get up here first, and then so we. That's an unintended jump, we can kind of use our butts. So, okay, so one hit, then I'm dead. So the way this works is, so I'm running on the floor now, and now I'm just going to continuously butt stomp. Um, if I stop butt stopping, then that's going to mean that my last valid position is going to change, which I just think it did. Uh, we'll try it anyway. But in, te in theory, we should teleport us back. No, it didn't. That's fine. Um, but the way it works is we run along the floor, if we keep butt stomping, and then eventually the, we die, then the game thinks our last position is the one we were running. And it'll teleport us back there. Um, but it's very easy just to drop the input. But uh, I thought I'd give it a go. Uh, so this level in particular, we need to collect certain tokens. So there's a green token here. So if we grab this token, you can see at the bottom right-hand corner, my leaf will grow. Um, in theory, we're meant to grab a lot more stuff. But we're going to skip a bunch of some wonky collision. Uh, so we'll get that first leaf power. We need to get one more in the game. And then we can skip a bunch of stuff. Um, so we're going to get this thing over here so at the moment we need to get one more to get over this wall but if we throw this in the corner like this get this mushroom jump over here and go out into the middle we can skip that uh, and then we need one more no we got both green tokens sorry uh so that's all the green tokens we need so another one is this is a really big run killer uh we need to do a buffer jump and then a, basically a frame perfect jump to get over this wall it's very hard i'll be surprised if we get a first try um, but we use the mushroom, buff jump, and then try 
Dang it. Hey, that. There we go, and then we get over the wall. So that skips a bunch of stuff. We need, we're usually meant to click three or four green tokens, and it's a very long time to do that. Uh, Bird's Nest is another boss fight. Um, the intention yeah. on this boss fight is to get a berry yeah, shooter that shoots up into the sky. Uh, but if we're quick, we can make it up to the top of the level before the bird flies all the way up. Uh, so if we get the blue upgraded berry, we can quickly jump over here. And then we'll look up in the sky, otherwise our berry can auto lock onto enemies down below. Uh, but generally, we're not meant to be doing this now. We're meant to... The bird's meant to fly up and doesn't be a whole thing. But if we're quick enough like we just were, we can skip that. Uh, sea entrance. Sea entrance is a collectible level where we need to collect tokens yeah. to open up grain doors uh, by killing enemies. Um, this level is very heavily RNG where the bu bugs just kind of roam where they want to roam. Um, that just roamed off to the left so we can't do get that bug. Uh, but we need to collect 10 to get through the first door. Uh, just getting super berry here to kill these flies quicker. We just kick there. It's a hidden ability no one knows exists but it can be useful in like one or two enemies in the game. Um, we get these ones here, and hopefully these are in good positions. Spider's not, so I'm going to not kill it straight away. And get it. Cool. And then there's a wonky collision this over here. We can climb up here. Get 11 token, 11 seeds here. Progress. Go to the this left. Hopefully the spider's use. in a good position. It's in the K position. And then come around here. So we need to get 8 more tokens for the 20 grain door. Uh, which we should be fine. We're going to get an extra bug up here because I couldn't get that fly earlier on. Um, this fly up here. Hopefully it comes down quickly. Yeah. All right, that's good. Uh, get the 17th, and then the last three ones here. So let's skip that. Nope. Uh, these are very hard to pick up if you, uh, if you didn't the notice. Um, the 19th and the 20th door. So there is a 30 grain door, but that's slow. So we're going to jump over the 30 grain door for butt slam. So we're just going to go straight to the end of the level now and not bother about any more grains. Um, let's make it around here. The camera's very good, as you can see. Um, we kind of try and do butt stunts because we can't always see where the bugs are. We try and time them just to kill the bugs and not, um, well, this is just not like slow home. down. But this is the big jump here. So we want to run off the corner over here I need more and then grain. jump over the green things, which we got first right, which is good. And then talk to the bugs. We're going to press start and just quit the level because as soon as we touch the bugs, it counts as completing the level. And then City Square. So City Square is where the run starts to differ from PS1. Yeah. On PS1 okay. we can uh, talk to the arm? bugs and press start and it skips a line of dialogue. And then when they, they start a new dialogue we can press start and skip it again. Um, on N64 we can kind of store the um, these cutscenes by keep, keep but something everywhere on the level. But on PC we just have to watch them. Um, there was a trick where we can disable our sound card but that's kind of sketchy so we decided yeah. to ban that. So instead, we um, we have to talk to every bug. So what we want to do is leave the uh, longest dialogue bug to the last, uh, which makes a really hard jump, what we have to do in PC compared to the other versions. Um, so usually on other versions, we'd run off left here and talk to uh, two other bugs, but instead we're going to go straight to Rosie uh, down below. And hopefully she's in a good position, because these, like I said, these are all just random. Um, when it comes to like world record, it really does matter where these bugs are. Um, so, nice so now we talked to Rosie, we need to do an unintended jump, which hopefully I get first right. Uh, it was going well in practice, I but I probably used up all my luck. Let's see if we can get it. No, so yeah, sometimes the guy in game kind of just eats your input, so we'll try that again. One more. Yeah, it's a very, very hard jump. Uh, third time lucky. Gee, they're never going to believe this back on Ant Island. Uh, sorry. Um, yeah, you kind of have to be on the very, very corner okay. of that box. Where do I find an army? And jump as late as possible and do the right butt slam. Um, there we go. And then we can quit that level. It can be a very tricky tricky jump. Um, so bug bar. Bug bar is another boss fight. So once again, we need to upgrade a berry, but there's a glitch. We can kind of jump on the side of this can and jump off the left and grab the golden berry early. Um, the golden berry does the exact same amount of damage to the boss, um, except from its use for 100%. As you can see, the 0, zero out of zero, 01. So if we kill the boss with the golden berry, then that counts towards the 100% goal, but we don't care about that. So um, it's just a quicker berry to get. Um, but we just got the blue berry now, so that will stop counting out. Um, yeah, so we can't damage the boss. We have to wait for him to get to the next position. 
and then go over to the next position. So we kind of just have to go back and forth and avoiding all the uh, things flying and hitting us. If we get hit too much, you can kind of die quite quickly, but once again, uh, level. there we go. And that's that boss fight. Uh, the next uh, level is Clover Forest. It's probably my favorite level of the game. Um, we have to go around collecting uh, feathers. There's a lot of wonky collision and cool jumps. Uh, there's another cool trick here. So I ran, I went backwards there just to run there to set up the wrong walk. So if I get this correctly and hit Manuel in the air, which is you can... I think that should be... Okay, that's good. So and I walk backwards and now the cutscene's playing in the background. So there's no game music. So the game thinks I should still be in the cutscene. So it's going to be very quiet for a second um, while I collect some leaves. And what we're trying to do now is collect leaves and also upgrade our ability in the bottom right. The current, at the moment, we have like a spinning fan. Uh, we want to upgrade that to a um, a cannon shooter. Uh, so we've got a dandelion now, and then finally, last one over here will give us a cannon cannon uh, cannon shooter. I'm not really sure there's a proper name for it, but um, yeah. So we throw that over here, get the last one, and that lets us get to other areas, which also skips another cutscene in a second. So we got that now. So we just need to go over and finish the cutscene to get the feather. Um, the leaf, sorry. Uh, feathers are on birds, but we're making a fake bird, so we need a leaf. Um, the cutscene now finishes, and we can grab the leaf as it comes out the Chinese box. Uh, let's go wait here. There we go. And then we go on, and then the cutscene should finish, and then we get all our nice music back. And our awesome tagline from Flick. So we're going to come over here. Just get rid of that spider. We can cause issues sometimes. And use the suit. Use the these are very finicky to get into, but we should be good. Okay, get the leaf. So the next trick coming out is basically the same thing. We can snipe the um, feather in the air, leaf in the air. Um, we're meant to be speaking to two bugs over here, and they this do a little show and bring the um, leaf down. But instead, we can just snipe this in the air, get it in the air, and the game. As soon as we get all the leaves, the game thinks we complete the level. We can just quit the game straight away. Um, the tree. The tree is a yeah. level. Um, <laughs> so we need to collect five scout flies. Um, there's nothing we can really do to skip the dialogue. We just need to make sure we don't fall from the tree. So there's a lot of dialogue. So now's a great time for any donations while I just collect these. Um, well, I want to remind everybody that um, there are incentives for tomorrow's the first run of Stream 2, which are which is going to be the Pokemon Aura speedrun. And you can claim the name of Mudkip, Latios and Groudon. Right now, if you go under the stream on the Tiltify link um, to donate and you choose the reward, uh, all of them are $50 which would uh, well get you into the raffle of the PS5, the Switch, and uh, the RTX 3060, which are the big prizes for the CSA. Oh uh, yeah, a couple uh, any more if that's possible. Oh yeah, okay, oh, I can babble around yeah. for the nations. <laughs> yeah, no it's, a, it's a very slow level, a lot of cutscenes. No worries. Um, uh, well, there are other incentives that, that you can claim. There is the costume for the Guardians Just of the Galaxy speedrun tomorrow at 1.30 p.m. And also the fun name for the Legend of Zelda Minish Cap. Um, all of these, you know, when you claim these rewards, please indicate what name and what uh, what costume you would choose in the comment of your donation. Otherwise, it would be a very nice, very generous donation. But you know, you can you might as well get the name in. Um, do you want me to continue? Uh, no, that's fine. We can carry that's on. That's fine. Side. All right. Yeah, we need two more scout flies. As you can see here, uh, Rosie's put her webs down. So I guess that's the game saying that oh, we've got bugs now. They other bugs, so they can help you. Um, it lets us get around the tree. Um, there's a few scary parts on this part where you kind of want to um, skip corners and that sort of thing around the edge. But obviously, if we f we're very high up right now, so if we fall down, that's a really big time loss. Uh, but we only got one jump left, which should be fine. It's kind of off to the right Thanks, over here, Rosie. so it can be hard to grab. And then last scout fly over here, and then we can rain, talk rain, to rain. Dot. Uh, no, let's see. I can't remember the name now. <laughs> but we're going to talk to last scout fly, and then go yeah. off and talk to, Hell and then yeah. then trigger the end level trigger, and then we can quit out and then Give enter the next level. Um, but that's the tree. If we could find a way to skip these cutscenes, it'd be awesome. But currently, we haven't found a way to do that yet. Uh, there we go, we can quit now. And now, this is a really cool boss fight, but also really weird. Uh, so, once again, we need to upgrade our berry power. So we, first of all, need to sort that out. So we'll kill the spiders over here, grab this seed. And as you can see, the current, uh, berries are being thrown at us by our friends who are meant to be helping us. Uh, but if we upgrade our blueberry here, so we can do damage to the boss now, but for some reason, our friends will just throw red berries at us, and if it hits us, it will downgrade our berry power, and we need to upgrade it again. 
So we stand underneath this just to kind of avoid the red berries hitting us. If you're really unlucky, you can just get sniped through this and get hit by a red berry. Uh, not much you can do about it. Um, I'm also timing my shots right now because if you keep hitting, keep hitting um, this boss here, it will move backwards, which loses time. Um, we only got a couple more hits left, so I'll just charge him and hopefully get hit. Right. Cool, that's good. And that's that boss fight. Okay, so Ant Hill Part 2. Ant Hill Part 2 is an amazing level uh, with massive RNG. So we need to upgrade our berry shooter. Uh, but to do that, we need to get a high enough leaf. I need to um, throw a berry shooter. But we berry shooters are slow, so we found a glitch to basically get a less of an, a less upgraded version of a berry shooter, uh, so we can hit the boss early. Uh, but first, we need to get this last green token to get this big leaf, and then we can get the berry shooter, which we just run over here, and then turn us into a leaf, jump up here. And then we got a berry shooter now. Um, well, not a berry, the less version of a berry shooter, but what we can do, if we turn the uh, seed into a berry shooter, we can then pick the berry shooter up, and, and now it's high enough, we can go on top of Pride Rock, um, go to the corner, um, turn around, and look up in the air, and pray that this seed hits Hopper. It's nothing we can do about this. We can maybe we cut, there, okay, so one hit, two hit, so, once we get three hits, it's kind of three now. Four. So we need to hit them the five times. So it's five times now. Six, seven. You're too slow. Eight. I mean, that's no one last hit. There we go. And then we can cut the level. Uh, but that's really hard. There's oh, nothing yeah. you can really do to control to hit the to hit the actual berry against Hopper. We just kind of get luck on the first yeah. few hits. Uh, this is a a really cool level. So it's kind of like an auto scroller, but we can collect grain and it speeds us up. Um, and every kind of thing on the floor will slow us down. Enemies random, uh, roam randomly. So we need our best to basically avoid all the enemies, get the token, uh, get the grain. Um, and if we fly too high up in the air, we'll slow down. So we need to stay out of the air for, for as short as time as possible before it starts slowing us down. Um, but the problem with that is um, there's a lot of stuff on the floor we need to avoid. So we kind of need to just kind of tap it lightly and kind of control it. Um, and if we do get hit, Hop is following us, and a lot of time you can get in front of Flick. Then that happens, you kind of get stuck, and it's really hard to get back around. Um, but we're doing a good job so far. Uh, on like um, N64, this is a lot harder level, because the camera angle is really bad, and you can't really see anything in front of you. Uh, so you kind of have to get a, a little bit lucky on where the enemies are. Um, but luckily on PC, we can see a little bit further ahead, and the, the camera's a little bit more friendly. So we can get through it a little bit more easier, and we can finish up like that. So we're already at the end of the game. So this game goes very, very quickly. Um, this is Canyon Showdown. It's broken up into three parts. Uh, the first part, we need to upgrade our berry power once again. Um, and then we can go over and hit Hopper a few times. So we'll do an unintended jump like that with a butt slam. Again, grab the blue berry. Now we're going to run over to Hopper. Um, just thought I'd mention this. It, when we're hitting Hopper, it doesn't show that we're taking any health away. Um, so a lot of players will run over, start hitting Hopper and think it's not working and try and do something else. But we just have to hit him in a certain amount of time, then he'll fly away and we just take a chunk of health away. Um, so now this next section is some kind of hard platforming um, where we need to snipe Hopper in certain spots. We hit him once and he'll go to a new spot, then we hit him again, then he goes to a new spot. And I got very unlucky just then. He just hit me out of the sky. Uh, we can hope to just get back up quickly. We can throw berries at you as well. Okay, we've got him now, so we want to go to the position before he gets to his position. So he can prepare to throw berries like this. Okay, we got that one. And then run over here to the next position. And then hopefully we don't get... Okay, just be careful. When you get hit by a white berry, you just lose full control of flick and you go in any way, any direction to start flying around, so it can be kind of tricky. Uh, last hit on Hopper here, and we go into the third section, where we just need to race into the very top of the hill here. Uh, hitting him in certain spots once again, and then once we get to the very top, we're going to start hitting him a bunch of times and wait for the bird to eat him, and that'll be time. So we'll hit him here, run to the next section. It does, you don't have to be too optimal here, just, you just need to beat him to this next area to not lose time. And then next one, and then this is the last one until he goes all the way up to the top. Uh, we should be good here. Uh, there we go, and then coming nearly time here, he's going to race him to the top, and then hit him a bunch of time. times. If we can, if we can't stand far away from him, we can kind of stun lock him, otherwise he'll start circling you. 
Uh, but the time is coming out in uh, a sec. That's time. And that's Plug's Life. Um, yeah, very quick game. Very, a lot to explain in a short amount of time. As you can see, the levels kind of zoom right by. Uh, but there's not really that many glitches in the game. It's just mainly optimizing oh, yeah. movement, which makes it pretty friendly for new runners. Um, we have a Discord if anyone wants to actually learn this game. There's great tutorials that Plywood made, um, which you can learn through that. Um, but yeah, that's a Bug's Life. Uh, thanks for ESA for letting me run this game. I um, hope everyone enjoyed it. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. If yeah, hand it back well, over. thank you. Before leaving you, uh, I've got a $10 donation from Zero CRN, our uh, tech guy, who says, uh, thanks for showcasing this such a fun game. It's been very enjoyable to watch so far. And I have to agree with that. So thank you again, thank you. The Civilized, and we will head off. Thank you very much. Awesome, thank you.